Hello there, everyone. I am Oversoul53, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to the last episode. I'm sorry, Pfft. wow, the last episode, no, not, not quite. <laughs> welcome back to Let's Replay Outlast, why did I even say that one thing? Okay, alright then. Silly, but maybe playing this game again is making me lose my mind. Oh, you oh. Wall Rider, didn't you? Yeah. You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Okie dokie. Battery. Oh, everybody loves batteries. Gotta have all those batteries. This looks like a place to be chased. Boy, they really give you just about as many batteries as you lose in that one section in the very next part. Well, that was a little ominous and foreboding. Definitely don't want anything to come of that. And wasn't there someone just standing here a minute ago, scratching their head? I could have swore someone was just standing on the other side of that glass. Oh, shit. Somebody's patrolling. Maybe there was somebody there. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs? <gasps> I wonder what's in there. The sound in the machine, like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and I see static. Something else. Something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids. Watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine, too, from inside the walls. I know that sound. Just gotta make sure everything is up to code, child. What have we here? That appears to be locked. There's always something in these parts, huh? More battery? Oh, you shouldn't have. Actually, you should have. I need more. Give me more. More battery to feast upon. I, if I remember correctly, I think we're supposed to do something with this. See how much of this area I actually remember. If I remember correctly, the enemies in this area are not uh, too much to worry about. A uh, brief introduction to Wall Rider mythology for MRD support staff, the Murkoff Corporation. Note this is for support uh, notational purposes only. In Engage in no direct contact with patients during or after therapy. The Wall Rider, also known as an Alp, Mara, or Schrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. Excuse me. They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from him. The sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare, but it has been known to drink milk from the breasts of sleeping women and blood from the nipples of sleeping men. <laughs> so like a kinky vampire. Who is also nursing. It's 
need to cover all my bases here, make sure I'm not missing anything important. For better or worse, most of these doors eventually lead somewhere, so... Give me battery, thank you. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas, Sonny Jim. Yep, I remember this. Have full of kooka yaka. This way, Father Martin? Okay. Now, that's right, I need a key for a door. Yes, but I need a key first. Or have you not been paying attention to your own messages? The key I need is right here. And in order to get the key, I need fuses. Three of them, to be exact. And where do I get these fuses? Of course! From, uh, this... Different areas of this hallway. Picked up a battery from that dead guy's feet. One of the rooms, for example, is right here. This guy will fuck with us as soon as we pick up the fuse. Yup. But don't worry, he just walks slowly and creepily towards us. Now we go this way. More batteries. Oh. Ah! Fuck! Another guy. Another fuse. In here somewhere. Oh! Uh, I found the fuse! Ah! Fuck off, bitch! All right, that's two fuses. Here's a couple lockers. I don't remember where the third fuse is. I think it's over here, though. Because didn't I? Yeah. All right, two of them. Third one's in here, I think. Somewhere in this decrepit hallway of doom and destruction and death. Drive in the nails. Ooh. Ha, I knew you'd be coming. I got the fuse. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Punk ass bitch. You can't kill me in one hit like the big guy, so I'm not as scared of you. I say as I hide under the bed. Oh, do ya? Well, I guess I'll just go then. Ah! Ah! 
Oh shit! Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. Eh. Get. Juke! Ah! Fuck! I'll take a couple of hits for the sake of convenience. Where's the key? Oh shit, the body fell to the basement. That's right. Huh? Yabba. down there. Hagadugan! If I can remember where I came from. Ah, yes. The laundry room. Oh shit, he's coming for me. Ugh. Ha! I'm too fast for them. Alright, moving on. Back to following the blood. Ooh, more batteries! Wow, they're really stocking up now. Maybe because we need them. Blood is the way to go, so we go the other way. Because there might be shit over here. Like batteries and documents. See? I'm not a moron. Look at me stocking up on the motherfuckers. Like, they barely give you any right before, right before the outside part when you really need them. And now in these areas that are at least somewhat nicely lit, they barely give you any at all. Hey, I see you busting open that door over there. Are you looking for me? Because if you are, you're not going to find me. I'm too cool. Hurry, goodbye! Ooh! Crap. Oh, the wall rider. I forgot about that part where the floor falls and you got to climb back up. No, I know what this is, I think. Maybe. Hopefully it's not. Oh, I don't want to deal with them yet. Oh. Right. Okay, so. Avoid the big hole in the floor where we fell before. go around this way. Right, so not this way. Shit. Son of a bitch is really gunning for us now. Lie. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes? The facts? Question mark? Hmm? The records? They look like government agency material. At least 30 years old, probably older. I start thinking... McCultra CIA. Mind control... Oh, excuse me. The buzzing won't stop. Ugh, I've got a bit of a... Hiccup or something today. But anywho, 
I'm almost positive. Oh god. this oh here we go hey guys all right so the thing about the naked twins is that they go in opposite directions in an attempt to flank you right because they one hit kill so what you got to do Is you gotta be smart and hide and wait. Because they're not listening to good Father Martin now. <laughs> Thankfully, that's the only spot you have to deal with them. Like, and it's only that one brief moment, too. But that spot really sucks the first time through if you don't know what you gotta do. It doesn't seem as bad in comparison now. I was actually dreading that, but now it's not so bad, actually. I will tell you one thing. We're actually getting kind of close to the end here. Uh-oh! Oh no, the camera! But how will we see in the dark without that? Ooh, shit. And somebody down there saw what happened, too. You saw them coming in. How for will we do this? We cannot see in the dark without the camera. We need the camera. And the camera needs us. Oh, where, oh, where has thine camera gone? New objective. You need your camcorder deck to navigate the darkness. You're damn right we do. I suppose we're just gonna have to find the son of a bitch, aren't we? And hopefully not get murdered in the process. Convenient how suddenly everything has a little bit of light to it so you can see without your camera. You know, except for in parts where you can't. They're leading us they're leading us down a very narrow linear pathway. Huh. I wonder why that could be. Maybe it's foreshadowing. <laughs> Anyways, maybe it's foreshadowing something. I see you on that table over there. Creeping along in the darkness. This part actually really sucks too the first time you play because you have no idea. But oh look, it's our camera. How convenient for us that that is sitting right here in the middle of this pitch black room. All we gotta do is just reach out and grab it, right? And nothing will go wrong. Uh-oh! They were waiting for us! We better run! And look, the camera's got a crack in it from the damage. Oh, and it's got staticiness. That's gonna complicate things. I guess we must be close to the end of the game, seeing how the camera is all cracked and shit. It would only make sense, right? Uh, 
Alright, where's the uh, exit to this bathroom again? Seriously, where the fuck is the bathroom? Oh. Wait, is that a battery? Haha! -ha! Yes! Okay, good. Alright, that's nothing. I thought that was a something, but it wasn't. Now, we have to find a way to get back up there, which is simple. We just climb right here. I forgot that the twins really weren't a big problem at that uh, when you run into them. Like, they one-hit kill you, and they go in a big circle to flank you, but there's because they're strategic, but they go slow. They don't chase you if you run. It's because Father Martin told them not to harm you, but they really want to, so there's, like, an obligation, and they, like... They're conflicted because they really want to cut you up, slice you up, and munch on your innards, but at the same time, they're like, but Father Martin said we couldn't, so I guess we can't. I thought... I thought I was supposed to do another running jump. Ouch. Nope, just hurt myself is all I did. Oh, duh, he can reach it from here because it broke. Wow, excuse me for being a moron. Um... But yeah, Father Martin specifically told them not to harm Miles. And, uh... So there's a conflict there, you know, because they want to, but at the same time, they're loyal to Father Martin. So, instead of actively trying to kill him, they fuck with him a bit, and then in that one part, they will kill him if he's unlucky enough to run into them. But... Um, but they won't, uh, go out of their way, you know, to do it. Only one way out. Only one way. Okay. How do you know you're not a patient? Quit saying that. We all know it's not true. Oh, look, we're back in a somewhat normal-looking area again. Always for the better, that is. And it loaded up the next spot. I like to th think. Oh, yep, and there's Chrissy Boy. I know where we are. Okay. Alright, so. That being the case, now that we got through that and we're at the next spot, and Chris Walker is Chris Walker in around again. Anyways. <clears throat> He's like Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. <sighs> Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, excuse me. I am Oversoul53. This is Oversoul Gaming. You've been fantastic. And I will catch you possibly another day, definitely another time, and likely another video. Okay, goodbye.